father of four James is a bit of a hero. During the bushfires, he worked 24-7 in his local service station to help families. So, why has he lost his job? It's about to become Armageddon Bateman's Bay. I worked eight days straight with only eight hours sleep. The sun is blacked out. These were extreme times. Here we are. To locals, James Latter went above and beyond. But to his employer, he fell short. Um, the whole town is ablaze. James was sacked after helping his community through one of its toughest times. I could see the pressure he was under. A manager at Caltex in Batemans Bay, James was working when the bushfire emergency warning to evacuate came through. It was an avalanche, a tsunami of people just getting out of the town. The former cop was working around the clock. This swarm of people just inundated the store. As the angry orange sky turned black, the roads in and out of town were closed. Well, that's when all hell broke loose. Our phone systems all went down, our FPOS all went down, everything crashed. James sprung into action, hunting for a generator. And within just four hours, Caltex was back in business. RFS volunteer Robert Black says if it hadn't been for James, firefighting efforts would have been hampered. They would have had to get a fuel tanker in, which probably would have been a lot harder and wouldn't have worked, I don't think. This was more than just a job. It's my hometown. Born and bred down here. Friends losing homes. As the crisis continued, desperate people began stealing from the service station. One loaf of bread per person, please remain calm. On social media, James was hailed a hero, praised not only by locals, but even the CEO of Caltex. He was there day in, day out. Liz Innes is mayor of Yurubadala Shire Council. There was a uh, line-up from Caltex effectively for kilometres. The last thing that you expected out of all of this was to lose your job. Aaron and I thought I could lose the house. I thought I could lose my animals. The very last thing I ever thought was losing my job. So why was James sacked? The store looked like locusts had hit it. Supplies, including cigarettes, were running low. A customer comes in, he made a tyrant of accusations about us putting prices up. James says the man then left the store but returned 20 minutes later and began abusing customers and staff. Went out to take his photo, he continued to walk away until I said, hey, enough. And that's when I went and put my hand on him to be physically take him off premises. He claims the man reached into his hoodie and fearing that he may have a weapon, James grabbed him. I've gone to neutralise his arm. I um, manhandled him. I physically turn him towards the front entrance, but he fought away from that, so then I hit him. You punched him? I punched him. The next day, James received a call from his area manager telling him he'd been stood down. Two weeks later, he was terminated for breaching Caltex's code of conduct. Lawyer Sam Macedoni. Yes, technically, it's in breach of the code of conduct for Caltex. However, you've got to look at the circumstances. A warning would have been sufficient. In a statement, Caltex stood firm on their decision, telling a current affair. Caltex has undertaken an investigation of the conduct of the employee. We don't tolerate violence in any form and we're left with no option but to terminate his employment. While James admits he was in the wrong, he believes Caltex overreacted. They crowed. They crowed very loud. They let everybody know what a great job we were doing. But then they threw me under the bus. James is now working at a local furniture store. He says he hasn't ruled out taking legal action against Caltex.